This is a 2002 Buick Regal. It has had some intermittent issues um, with uh, no crank um, and a crank no start, very intermittent. And um, issue is is this key right here. And uh, this year, this vintage is a uh, chip in here. It's got a resistor on it. And what happens is, um, and on this vehicle, in the uh, ignition cylinder right here, uh, there's two wires that are going to read the resistance um, off of here and allow the vehicle to crank. And normally, what happens is the security um, light will illuminate or flash and then in some years there's a there's a display right here for the security so um, because of the year and condition of this vehicle this customer didn't want to change the cylinder then we'd have to get new keys this person already had several keys um, the fix is finding the two wires that come down from the steering wheel cylinder, um, and they're two white wires. Now, you might find some information that shows that it's in an orange uh, cover. Uh, this one is not. This one is in a black one, and it goes and plugs in here. And you can follow it. It goes into the body control module right here. So, one way to test if you've got this issue is you're going to be looking for that code, and that's a body control module um, code that you're going to be looking at, and it's going to be security system data circuit high. And normally the, the two wires that are in here, one of them will, so I can show this picture here, one of the wires in here is going to be probably broken. And um, although this job is relatively easy to change the cylinder, you've got to take the steering wheel off, airbag out, to get here and remove this cover to get over here to actually either repair the two wire, repair the wire, or change the cylinder. And it's just much easier to do this little hack here that there's a million other videos online. Um, so the the code that's going to be a good indicator that you might have this issue besides crank no start uh, or no crank or intermittent is this V2958. And you've got to have a, a reader that can read the body control module. So with a little multimeter, what you're going to do, let me see if I can do this here one-handed. What you're going to do is you're going to read this chip. And there are multiple values. So I've got this ohmmeter set to a max of 20,000. So it should be 0 to 20,000. And I've already read this. It's, um, it is going to be, this one is, uh, let's see if I can do this here one-handed. Seven point three. So what I did was I got two resistors, and um, in this case, I mean you can do this many different ways, but I got these two resistors running in parallel, 
and uh, resistors running in parallel actually halves the number and then multiplies the wattage and in this case it doesn't matter because there isn't much wattage going through that so these are two 15k resistors running in parallel will make it a 7.5 um, this key is at 7.3 um, and it's there's a spec and you can search it. I think there's like 14 different key values I think the range is like 7.3 or 7.2 to 7.8 with a target value of 7.5 so doing this um, and if I was, if I measured it here for you, um, running in parallel, these two are, seven point, oh gosh, what is this here? Seven point four. So, Again, if I um, had a better way to, to do this, you would see let's see there. Seven point four. So I'll get that soldered up and um, I cut the plug and I'm going to uh, solder this here to get me my 7.4 that's going to fake out the body control module but um, it's going to think I've got the right key in which I do have the right key it's just the feed to it is wrong um, here's the wiring schematic too. Let's see here if I can kind of show you what's going on. So the resistor relay right here where the key is, white wire, white wire, going to the body control module and it goes to white black um, and then a uh, purple white. So I'm essentially emulating this key on this side because there's a fail right here uh, with the wire to send the proper resistance to the body control module so that is the quick fix for uh, getting this vehicle started again all right so the bypass is installed and now you can see here that security light is not on there anymore so um, you'll see it flash for a minute right there and then it should go away it goes away and again this was emulating the resistance on this key and I'll show you what that looks like plugged in um, again just plugged in right there and again just to be clear this is the part coming from the ignition so we don't care about that anymore. We want the one that's going to the body control module. So it's right there. And that was my two um, 15K. Um, so running in parallel makes it a 7.5. And then tested uh, and soldered on here was actually ended up being 7.3, which was exactly what the key was. Um, and it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, just needs to be within those slots. You can Google Google that and see what the ranges are. I think there's 14 different resistance values. Um, I just measured off the key, make sure it was a known good key. Put that in. And uh, for the folks that are wanting to know how uh, kind of a cheap way to read some of the enhanced um, trouble codes, this is OBD Link MX. For some models, you get the enhanced codes. All right, so let's get it to uh, see. So again, that was the, the code right there, 2558. That code should be gone. Let's just, um, actually, I don't even really need to clear it. With that code in place, you can't clear it anyway. Yeah. 
get a refresh on here. Must be connected. Oh, I guess I'm disconnected. Let me get back out. Um, this is a Chromebook, by the way. Uh, so you could run um, your Android apps. And uh, this is just uh, something that I, I use. I don't know why it's asking me here. All right, so let's go over here. It should prompt me for the body control module. I'll just have it read all of them. Oh, or maybe not. Let me just do the body control module. Read it. And that code should not be there. Let's see if I'm a liar. Boom. It does have this 2552. Um, oh, and then here's that historical. So that was the one that... Um, that was an issue, um, and it looked like there was another one here, 2957. Anyway, so that's it. That's the fix for this vehicle.